In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do advanced conditional formatting here in Google Sheets. So I'm going to be showing you how to highlight your data based on other values that are found in within your sheet and within another sheet. Let's get started. So first, we're going to try and highlight the data right inside this range, the ones that are over $20,000. So First, what we're going to do is to perform a logical test and see if these values are over $20,000. So let's start with an equal sign right here, then select that cell and put in greater than or equal to 20,000. And right now it's telling us that it's true. If we drag this down with the rest of our data, we will get a set of trues and falses. And now if we try and use this formula for our conditional formatting, we're just going to copy the formula, select the range where we want to apply our format, go to format in the menu bar, select conditional formatting. We've selected a range, which is correct. Now, if we go to the format rules, we're going to go way down to the custom formula is enter the formula that we just did right here, our logical test. And here you'll already see that those with the true value will be highlighted. We can customize the color and click on done. There you have it. Now, what if our value is on another cell? So let's say our 20,000 is right here. Let's edit our formula, remove that 20,000 there and put in the cell reference. So right now it's again, giving us the true value. But if we bring this down, you'll see that most of them are already false because our formula has moved down. So don't forget to put in your absolute reference, which is putting in your dollar signs or a shortcut would be pressing the F4 button right there. There you have it. Still the same value. But now if we drag it down, there you go. Now we have the correct results. And again, if we copy this and go back to format, conditional formatting, select our range right here, click on OK, format rules, go to custom formula is, enter your formula, click on done, remove the previous one, and there you have it. It will still give us the same results. Now, what if our value is in another tab? Let's say on this tab right here. Let's try and do that. So let's remove this one. Let's test it out. So that's equal sign your cell reference greater than or equal to go to the other tab and select your value. Press enter and it will tell you it's true. But this time, if we try and copy this, Select the range you want to highlight, go back to format, conditional formatting, go to format rules and select custom formula is. If we enter our formula, it will give us an error and tell us that our formula is invalid because it does not accept references from other tabs. So what we can do to go around this is to use the interact function. Now, I've already done a video on how to use the indirect function. If you haven't seen it, do check it out. And how we're going to do this would be to, again, turn this range right here into a string by putting it in quotations like so. Then put the indirect function right here. So type in indirect, select it right here, closing parentheses and press enter. And now we still have the same results even though our value is found in another tab right here. Now, if we try and copy this and select our data, add another rule, go to format rules, custom formula is if we enter our formula this time, it has accepted it with the help of the indirect function. So again, just choose your color, click on done, and there you have it. Now, if you want to highlight the entire row, that's no problem. Just go back to your format rule and edit the range that you want to highlight. So this time we're going to select the entire range like so. 
click on OK. And for your custom formula is right now, it's only highlighting these ones, which is incorrect because our column right here is not fixed. If we put in a dollar sign, you'll see that all those with trues are highlighted all throughout the range. And if we click on done, there you have it. We've highlighted all those data with the true value based on another value found in another tab. Now, what if I want to highlight this range right here based on the values found right here? Again, it's found in another tab. And this time we're going to be using a combination of two functions, which is the match function and the is number function. Let's go ahead. Let's start again our formula right here with the equal sign. Type in match and our search key will be right here, comma. Our range is in another tab. Select that right there and put it in absolute reference so that this range does not move anywhere else, comma, and then a zero for an exact match. If we press enter, there you have it. Now, if we drag this down, you'll see a bunch of twos and ones that match those that are found in our other tab. So we have one for tripod and two for camera lens. And you'll see that there, two camera lens, one tripod, one tripod and two camera lens. Now we're going to use another function, which is the is number function, which will give us a value of true or false. So we can use it in our conditional formatting. So let's go ahead and add that in our formula right before match. Just type in is number. There you have it. And now it's giving us the value of false. Press enter and drag that formula down. And there you have it. Now we have false, true, true, false, depending if those words do match our values on the other tab. Now, again, if we copy this formula right here and select our range, go back to format, conditional formatting, go to format rules. Custom formula is, and if we enter our formula, again, it will not accept it because we have a reference to another tab. So the same thing with our previous example, we're going to go around this with the indirect function. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to edit our formula and turn this range right here into a string by putting it in quotations right here and there and now we're going to put in the indirect function right here close that in parentheses there we have it now if we press enter it will still give us the same results if we drag it down there you go still the same results and now if we copy this and go back to format conditional formatting select our range click on ok Go to format rules, select custom formula is, enter the formula that we've just copied. And now it's accepted it. And you'll see that all the truths again are highlighted in our range. Now, if you want to highlight again, the whole row, just select the entire range or the entire data set, click on OK, then edit your formula and put a dollar sign before your column so it doesn't move. And there you have it. Now you'll see on our data that everything from the rows are now highlighted. Let's select a different color. Click on done. Erase this one. And there you have it. And those were some examples on how to do advanced conditional formatting here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.